So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. The uh, weather guessers, they got it wrong this time. They're calling for uh, one to three inches. I'd say we got at least four, maybe five inches. I just hit my driveway real quick. I'm gonna head down to the uh, brick house and get it. And then everybody else, uh, I can plow in the morning. I don't even have a uh, bucket on the front of the tractor. I had the uh, firewood bucket on there, but it's filled with uh, firewood rounds from out cutting wood. This snow kind of caught me off guard a little bit, so I just uh, dropped the firewood bucket. We'll head down to the brick house and get it because uh, Levi and Kate and the kids are at our place right now. So it'll be easier without their car there. And then in the morning, I'll kind of get a little bit better organized and uh, hit neighbor cliffs and my mom's and my sister's and the other neighbors as well. The snow today started, I don't even know, about noon or something. The roads are pretty well clear now. They're slick. They quit snowing about an hour ago. it is first thing in the morning I got the uh, tractor warming up it's ready to go I'm gonna put the uh, bucket on the front and then we'll head over and do uh, neighbor cliffs driveway first and then we'll head down to my mom's and my sister's place but uh, this is shaping up to be the perfect winter in my opinion uh, nice and cold get some snow no rain no mud and we're already at the end of January right now so when you think about it, at least for around here, we got about another four weeks of this and uh, it'll start warming up and it won't be long, spring will be here. Can't remember where I left the bucket at. Yeah, it's over there. Just the other day, I was uh, driving out the road, maybe about a mile from here, and they were digging a foundation for a new house. Man, that would drive me crazy trying to uh, build in weather like this. That would be a mess.
I'm gonna get a little fuel here. I remember uh, several years ago I did a video talking about uh, cab tractors and I had myself convinced that I didn't need a cab tractor. I thought it would be in the way when I'm out in the woods and things like that. But man, I would never go back to not having a cab. Uh, not just for this time of year, but you know, in the middle of summer, I remember one time last year, I was over at the old apple orchard. I'm brush hogging, you know, it's 85, 86 degrees out, humid, and like, you're sitting in an air-conditioned cab, and I came back over the house, and Melissa and I are gonna go out to dinner, and we just hopped in the truck and went out to dinner. Normally, that does not happen when you don't have a cab, so uh, I'm definitely convinced now I do need a cab. All right, I didn't do too bad on our driveway last night in the dark, uh, but we'll hit neighbor cliffs first, get that taken care of, and then I think this afternoon into the evening they're calling for uh, another one to three inches. That's what they were calling for yesterday, but we definitely got more than that. on that rear blade it kind of digs a little bit and you know this time of year the concrete moves around a little bit when it's frozen and I don't want to catch one of those uh, expansion joints so if you go backwards the blade kind of rides uh, over top of anything like that it works out pretty good and I mentioned before you know I am not really set up for snow removal I mean I got a cab tractor here but I just have a rear blade uh, the way to do this would be have a front plow on it or even, you know, a rear blower and a plow, something like that. But like I mentioned before, we just don't get that much snow. I mean, I say that, but this winter we're getting quite a bit. But normally, we don't get a whole lot of snow. You know, a couple, three, four days a year of uh, snow plowing is all I really do.
So I just got uh, Chris and Amber's driveway. It's a real short one, doesn't take long at all. Now I'm gonna head down to my mom's place and my sister's, and then I have one more after that, and I'll be done, and it won't even be uh, 9 a.m., so that's good. All right, so there is the uh, heated driveway again. There is just a little bit of ice on there, not much at all. I wonder, I don't know how they heat that. I'll have to ask uh, Tom from Concrete with the Hosses if he knows how they heat that. He poured that driveway, but uh, we don't have natural gas out here, so I know they don't do that. I don't know if it's propane or geothermal or what it is, but uh, man, there'd be a lot of tubing in that driveway. But it would be interesting to know, you know, over the long term, what the energy costs are compared to having it plow, but uh, it is pretty nice. It really is. You know how I talk about uh, Maple Grove sometimes? It's right up there on that hill. Last time I was up there, I said there's a road down below here. But yeah, right up there is uh, Maple Grove. sister's driveway it goes way way up that way there I got my mom's done I'm gonna head up and uh, shovel her sidewalk but I always uh, I scrape hers down pretty good if I take a little bit of stone I take some stone it doesn't matter I can fix it but uh, with this hill and everything and this turn up here at the top I like to get her a little bit of uh, gravel showing get her some traction Gotta have traction in the winter. All right, I got my mom's uh, car cleaned off, sidewalk shoveled, driveway plowed. Now we're gonna head up my sister's driveway. Winter Wonderland out here today.
just finished up my sister's driveway and uh, I was thinking I'm actually ready for spring I don't mind this kind of weather at all it's kind of uh, enjoyable and relaxing plowing snow for me but you just don't get a lot of other things done this time of year it seems uh, everything you do just takes longer you know what I mean I need to go pick up some lumber some uh, tongue and groove lumber for inside the new building it's about two hours north of me and I'm planning on doing that someday this week, but I've got to dig the uh, trailer out, shovel the trailer off. Everything you do just seems to take like a lot longer, you know what I mean? So sometimes it's best just to uh, relax and enjoy it a little bit and wait for better weather. But anyway, before I wrap this video up, don't forget this coming Friday, January 28th, 1.30 p.m., Melissa and I will be at Messick's in Mountjoy, Pennsylvania. Uh, at 1.30 till probably 4.30 or something like that. They're having an open house. If you would like to stop by and say hi, we will be there. And I think that's about it. But I really appreciate you all being here. And uh, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.